Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to calculate cumulative binomial probabilities with SBSS. And when I say a cumulative binomial probability, it means I have, say, n trials, and I want to calculate the probability of getting x or fewer. That means up to and including x number of successes in n trials where a single probability of success is given by p. All right? And we're going to do this in SPSS, which is not usually known for its ability to do formulas or calculations. Um, SPSS generally works on data, but we can sort of get around that by putting in our value of x as a data column. All right? So for example, suppose I have, um, I want to calculate the cumulative binomial probabilities associated with five trials and a single probability of success equaling 0 0.80. So there are actually this many um, possible number of successes. In five trials, you can get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 successes, right? But this table that I'm looking to build, and I'll do so in a second with SBSS, SBSS I don't know how many S's I said there, is built and it gives me the, um, the probability, for example, of getting one or fewer successes. This represents the probability of two or fewer successes, three or fewer, hence the phrase um, cumulative, right? And the thing about a cumulative binomial um, probability table is the last one, the probability of getting five or fewer successes in five trials will always be one. So the last one will always be one. And I could do an individual one of these. I want to do a whole table for this reason. In order to have SPSS do this, I need to enter my x values first as data. I'm sort of convincing SPSS that this is actually a column of data. And then I will do a transformation on that column. Right? So I first create this column of the possible number of successes. And then I follow this procedure, and it will produce this table. All right, so let's go over to the data editor where I'm going to um, create my column of x's. So I can have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'm just putting those in by hand. And notice it gives it a weird name, var 0, 0, 0, 1, 4. I'm going to change that by going over to variable view, clicking on that tab, just hitting the cell that has that name I don't like, and changing it to x. I go back to data view, those are the x's, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform that column by way of a formula into the probabilities I seek. So I go into transform, compute variable, and the function I'm looking for, the function group, is CDF, cumulative distribution function, or cumulative density function, and non-central CDF. So I'm going to click on that, and that opens up um, a variety of functions under that category. And the one I'm looking for is CDF binome, right there. And when you click on it, it gives you a little definition in this box of what it does. And it gets us what we want. The first argument is quant, representing, representing the number of successes. N is the number of trials. Probability is, or prob is the probability of a single success. And it returns the probability of getting quant or fewer successes. So I like that. That's what I want. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to double click on cdf.binome. And right up here under numeric expression, it, it basically gets it started for you. Now I just have to put in the input to the function. And the first one, according to my little description down here, is the quant or the x value. So that is going to be my column of x values. So down here, and this left panel, there's x. That's that variable. Once I click on that, I can then bring it over with this arrow. Hit that. And now it's taking x, my column of x values. And the next thing it desires is the number of trials, which is 5. And then the probability of single success, which is 0.8. And at this point, you still can't click OK, because you have to give this column a name. right? So we have to go up to here to target variable, and you can give it any name. 
you get to call it P binome cumulative, right? Fairly descriptive, tells us what it is. And at that point, as soon as you give it a name, you can click OK. It takes a little while down here in the um, output um, window. It shows you that it's working on some stuff. Up here, there's some question marks. That means it's still working on it. I don't know if all copies of SPSS are this slow, but mine's kind of pokey, but it will come around here soon. Question marks. Again, remember we're looking to get this table right here. All right. Oh, it did it. Okay. So it created this second column of probabilities. Now, it's sort of short on decimals, but I can fix that by going over to Variable View. It's that second variable, um, P binome cumulative. I'll go to Decimals, and I'll just crank it up to 3. I think that's probably sufficient. Go back to data view, and there's my table of possible number of successes and the probability of getting that many successes or fewer. All right. So SPSS can use to use this sort of a calculator, but you have to put in the arguments in some form of data. Like it doesn't all have to be data, but it, SPSS is used to working in data. So if you can get the input in terms of a data column, you can get it to do some uh, pretty nice calculations. And that about wraps it up. Bye.